Good morning. We are back again to do a fun at home science demo. I'm Becky and this is MJ. And it's a good way to go up, or I can definitely say. Yeah. So Which is good because I'm really tired. Yeah, so it's Friday, we're all a little tired, so we have picked a really fun activity that will definitely get you awake and going, and we are going to do, it does include Sharpies, everybody's favorite. Um, so we are going to make fizzy, crazy monster head balloons. Um, I think that's the title, I oh, can't wait. remember. you don't need them. Uh, no, you don't, you don't eat these, I know. Wow. <laughs> I thought we were going to be like making pop, pop for a second. No, nope, unfortunately because we are. Because we have like this, these Pop yeah, we are using some soda bottles, but so I forgot. So, uh, for your fizzy monster balloons, what you're going to need is some baking soda and some vinegar. And we've already have some smaller containers, so I'm going to set these out of the way. And then what you're going to need is a bottle, and we are using some glass, like this is I think a lemonade bottle. It was a soda bottle. You can use a plastic <laughs> bottle too. Sticky. I know I just believe a lot. So, um, but just some sort of a bottle with um, a smaller size opening. And we already mentioned the baking soda and vinegar. The other thing you're gonna need is some balloons and they can be assorted sizes. Um, the smaller the balloon, I will say the less of the vinegar and the baking soda you'll want to use. And what we're gonna start with is we have these balloons and we have brought out some Sharpies. So what we're gonna do is, all right, you can pick a balloon. Oh, I yeah, you need a balloon too. So we're just going to... I call this one. All right. So what we're going to do is take these balloons and we're just going to quickly draw a, little a face. funny face. And don't worry if it's not perfect because it's a monster. So yeah. It's so I just can't really see, but I just drew a little smiley face. I think maybe I need some like curly hair or something on mine. So can It's keep... not working. It's not working. My glasses are crooked. Well, that's okay, because, you know, it's going to look kind of crazy once we blow this up. Bet, so, bet. Well, you keep working on yours. I'm going to get us started with the next. I made okay. him look upset because he's so cool. That's okay. Well, now to turn these balloons into crazy monsters. Ow. So we're going to take our bottle, and I brought up a funnel. I think it's a little easier to pour liquids into a bottle with a funnel, but you don't you don't have to use one of those. And we have a, our pitcher of vinegar. I'm going to off. Side. It smells gross. And actually, for the hang on just a second. For this, we're actually going to measure the vinegar. Um, oh. Because too much vinegar and baking soda in, in this experiment will explode your balloons. And we're not exploding things today. So no, we're going not. to use a quarter cup of vinegar. I would use we might, no might, more than a half cup. We might, we might explode something later. We might. Wait. So. Yeah, we're just keep going here. So we're gonna pour this quarter cup of vinegar right into the bottle. And you don't need a lot, so that's why we're using a small amount. Next, we're going to take our balloon. Oh. And we'll use- Oh, we'll that's be, cute. Yeah, we'll use this one. And you definitely need two people for this part. We are going to use um, a half cup of, or half cup, half a teaspoon of no, baking so soda. Good. So we're gonna do two of those. Oh, okay. So what I also learned is your smallest measuring cup, measuring spoon will help you get, okay, get into the balloon. So you're just gonna put a half teaspoon, so two scoops there, into the balloon. So one person definitely has to hold the balloon open while the other person puts the baking soda in. And well, now the baking soda comes, are you ready for this part? Mm -hmm. This All right. is a hot. One of the harder right. parts as well. What okay. you need to do is stretch it over the balloon. Um, with so the, the baking, um, I mean, st stretch the balloon over the, over the edge of the like the, the bottle. You know, yeah. And then and then you flip it over. There we go. And shake and don't. Oh. No 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 no. So as you notice, we didn't quite get our balloon all the way over the top. But so what's so there we go. I don't know if you guys can see our face growing. So Mary Jane, what I love think? this. So what's the science wait, no, my, going on here? Um, it's um the chemical reaction between the um baking soda and the vinegar um releases carbon dioxide. We know that it's um a chemical reaction because, as you know, all chemical reactions release something. It can be heat. It can make something new. It, in this case, it's carbon dioxide. Yep, so it's releasing. And, and where's that carbon dioxide going? In the balloon. In the balloon. So we're using. I'm excited. 
Yeah, you're trying yours. So we're using the gas produced by the reaction to inflate our balloon. Which now, I think, oh, and by the way, um, if, you, if you're if a science geek, I can tell you that these make excellent room decor pieces. Yeah, oh, <laughs> excellent, excellent. So you could keep this in your room if you well, wanted to. Just make sure to duct tape it close. Yeah, duct tape it close. <laughs> so one thing that, a few safety precautions, because we are inflating balloon, and this there's a lot of pressure here, is that you want to use a small amount of vinegar and baking soda. If your balloon doesn't inflate, just add a little bit more next time, but it's better to start with just a little bit than a lot. If it looks like your balloon is really big and about to explode, Let's just go. pop off pop off the uh, balloon. If you're doing this Ouch. in a big room or you are have a lot of space, what you can do that's a lot of fun is take the edge of the balloon and just Gently roll it up, and what do you think is going to happen? You want to make a prediction? What do you think is going to happen? It's going to shoot up in the air. Shoot there. All right, let's see if our prediction's right. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! So it just went all, I know. all across the room. Yeah. What is it? It's all the way over there. We'll catch it later. We'll find it later. So that's um, something that's really fun to do. So we'll set this balloon and bottle aside. And for those of you that are joining us, we do this a little late. Um, Thanks for joining us. Now we're gonna do a second bottle. So for those of you just joining us, what we've done is we have, I know there's just some water from where we rinsed out. Oh, so, I thought it was, I thought it was some water. No, I'm thirsty. I know, so we'll get a drink in a bit. So what we've done is we have our uh, soda bottle. Um, this one's glass, but you can use a plastic bottle. Um, just something with a smaller lid or smaller opening. And we've taken a balloon and we drew a funny face on it to make our monster. It's kind of hard. To, um, I know they're hard okay. to stretch. So um, get okay, I'll, um, I'll I'll pour this in if you if you stretch the balloon. Awesome. So what we're doing is we're adding about a quarter cup of vinegar. Can think of the right thing there. Is that vinegar, good? a little bit more, to our bottle. So we're gonna pour it on our funnel. Good. That looks like a great amount. So we're gonna put that right in the bottle. I don't set like this that aside. Smell. I know vinegar is a strange smell. So then we're gonna do with we have a balloon with our face on it. So once again, we are going to put a half um a teaspoon half of baking teaspoon. Yep. soda. You want to make sure that when you're doing science, to make sure that it is even. Exactly. I know I didn't do that last time, but I just forgot to mention it. Yeah, it's gonna be exact. I will, but I will say this is yet to be super exact. So there we go. So it's a half teaspoon. We're using a, our smallest measuring spoon because it's easier to get the balloon. And you definitely need to have a somebody help you hold up, open the balloon, which we learned that it's really hard to do it by yourself. And now comes the fun part. So I will put it on. Do you want to flip it up? So we have the baking soda down inside the balloon. I'm going to make sure. Make sure it's all closed. And then we Whoa! Whoa! There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of pressure. So there we go. So we have our chemical reaction happening in the bottom of our bottle between the baking soda and vinegar. And once again, it is releasing carbon dioxide. Yeah, so we're releasing this some carbon. This is also a really annoying piece. A really good <laughs> annoying piece. If you want to annoy your brother, I don't have one, or sister, um, you can use one of these and like, um, like pretend to shoot it in their face. Well, you know what? I'm glad you said that because you know what? We shouldn't shoot those in somebody's face. I know. That's where you said pretend, right? Yeah. Yeah. But so just some safety precautions. I got to make sure I mention the safety. Um, if it looks like your balloon is going to, get, pop, going to pop, release it. Just make sure you use a small amount of baking and soda sure, and vinegar. And make sure that you don't point it at anyone. Kind of like a gun. Yes. Oh. So, um, kind of like a lot of gun, if, you, well, if the other person doesn't want to get So wet. let's go ahead and um, demonstrate what happens when you pop this off. So we're just going to release it. Make sure you're doing this in a big room. Like this. Like our room or outside. And definitely do not point at anybody. So here we go. Or just in the corner. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. And, and we're going to roll it off. And poof! It there went, it goes. It, it basically went me that same spot as the last one. Yes, it wow. did. So this is um, a great fun activity. You can keep, you can try different sizes of balloons. You can um, try a little bit of baking soda, see what happens if you add a little bit more. But always just make sure that you're keeping uh, your eye on your safety, make sure that you're pointing the balloon away. And if it looks like it's about to pop, make sure you pop it off. So we wanna thank you for- If your window's open, do it outside. Exactly, if you can do it outside, 
even better. So I want to thank you for joining us today for our live science demo and keep checking out the museum's Facebook page. We have a lot of really great activities coming to you. You can always check out childrensmuseum.org slash museum at home and we'll see you next time. Science rules! Science does rule.